Hey everyone, this is Dane Bergen, creator of the Rich Photographer Coaching Series, designed to get better results for photography business owners. And today what I wanna to talk about is your database. Now, if you don't know anything about creating a database, um, what I'm talking about is a list of your past clients and a list of your past prospects that you can keep in touch with in the long term. Now, if you're looking at your photography business as a long-term business, which you should be, uh, and increasing that business uh, every year through different marketing strategies, what you wanna be doing is keeping a list of those past clients, all the past clients and all the past prospects uh, you've had through your you know, entire business career. It's really simple to do. All you, the, the most basic way you can do it is by just setting up a spreadsheet in Excel or on Google Drive or you know Apple Numbers, whatever it may be, it doesn't really matter. You just wanna track the basic, you know, basic data points, things like uh, client's name, contact information, the package they ordered if they were a client, uh, just small details like that so that in the future you can keep in touch with those people. The reason being is because over time, people will forget who you are no matter how, you know, how great of a relationship you created uh, in their session or whatever it may be. They, over time, people are just going to forget you if they never hear from you. It's the same if you think back to primary school, if you've been out of school for a long time, you might remember faces, you know, if you see someone at the shops or something like that, you kind of remember the face, but you'll probably forget the name. Um, and that's someone who you probably saw a lot through your schooling career. It's the same for your business. People may have, you know, used you as their photographer years ago, but if they had to remember your name now, they probably couldn't do it. The way you can overcome that is by just staying in touch with them every couple of months, if it's just by email, or you know, if once a year you get on the phone and just catch up with them, ask them how they are. Uh, if you send things like birthday cards, um, Christmas cards out to all your past customers even, or clients, even if they've been, you know, they haven't worked with you for a number of years, if every year they're getting that birthday card, that Christmas card, or you know, just email. Uh, newsletters, things like that, just so that they're remembering your name every few months. Then in the future when they do need a photographer again, be that for the same service you provided last time or another one, they're going to then think of you, remember your name and be able to get in touch instead of if you hadn't stayed in touch or if you hadn't ha had your name in front of them every few months, they'll, even though they remember they used a photographer, they'll have totally forgotten your name and have no way of getting in, in contact with you. So you can use the database in the same way. All you have to do is start collecting those, um, you know, that data and saving it on your, you know, on your computer. And then at certain points in the year, like the slow season, uh, for most photographers, that's during winter time, you can send different uh, you know, sales campaigns to try and bring in more clients in those slow periods of the year for different services. All right, so I want you to start collecting that data, have a database and use that to stay in touch with your past clients and your past prospects. All right, if you enjoyed this video and the ideas within it, I'd love you to leave a comment below. Let me know how these videos are helping you out. And if you'd like more strategies just like this, then you can check out the info below the video. Cheers. Bye.